They sure nailed it. Well, let's talk about Pitfall Harry. He looks like Luigi, and there's something wrong with his walk cycle. Looks like he's hopping on one foot. But the most ridiculous thing about this guy is the way he dies. What is that all about? He go it even kills the enemies that are nearby. My only theory to what's going on here is that there's an angel and a devil waiting to take him to either heaven or hell. It's first come, first serve, and they both want him real bad. So they're constantly there waiting for him to die. And then as soon as he dies, they both grab his arms, fighting over his body. That's the only explanation that I can think of. The only items in plain sight are the gold, but the gold has no purpose other than getting points. Unless you're playing an Atari game, nobody really cares about getting a high score, it's more about just finishing the game. Why is there an anti-gravitational lake that's bottom leads to thin air? In order to access certain parts of the game, you have to jump into walls. Who would think to do that? There's no limit to how secretive this game is. There's actually a part where you have to warp by jumping into a bird. You saw that, right? I'm not making that up. There's a warp zone hidden in a bird! How would you ever figure something like that out, unless it's by complete accident? If you try touching the rest of the birds in this game, they kill you. So if you've learned anything from that, it's to avoid them. How stumped and bored would you need to be to start thinking, hmm, I guess I'm gonna try jumping in the birds. How the f is a kid in 1987 without internet supposed to figure out how to beat this game? Let's play charades. Who am I? If you guessed Pitfall Harry, then you're right. But now we know, so let's continue with the game. But first, let's recap and make sure we got this straight, okay? All right. You wait for randomly flashing staircases to appear, in which you try to find a randomly appearing key, which randomly appears within the randomly appearing staircases, and then try to collect a random number of cherries that randomly appear as you kick palm trees to reveal another staircase that doesn't flash, or more or less appears to be flashing, but in a frozen state. You go in there, and then you're off to the next level. You got that? Well, good, because now all you got to do is do that nine more times, and congratulations, you've learned the secret of playing Little Red Hood. I played this stage for about an hour before I eventually looked up an online walkthrough from someone who probably had more time to spare than me, and guess what? In this stage, the key doesn't appear until you buy an invincibility potion and three slingshots! How would anybody know to do that? You imagine if in Super Mario Brothers, if one level, you can't jump on the flagpole at the end. Unless first you collect exactly 29 coins, stomp three Goombas, and get a Fire Flower. Be a little tour. Here's the first part of the game. You can explore the whole outside of the castle, but you can't go up to the second level yet. For now, all you have is three doors and a window. The first door leads to a room that has nothing interesting. So you blast a bunch of blocks, find a key, and then make a door appear by shooting in the thin air. So you use the key to go in the door, and after all that trouble, where does it lead you? Back out the same door you came in. So the whole point of that first door is a complete waste of time. The second door is a shop. Then we go in the window. Here, there's just an empty room. There's nothing except for a door. And you can't go in the door. Of course. Is it locked? Do I need a key? The game doesn't even have the courtesy to let you know. A little message would be nice. The third and final door leads to another room. I'd like to point out here that once you enter a room, you can't go back out. So basically, you're trapped and have no choice but to persevere. You gotta find the door. It's mindless enough that you have to shoot bubbles in the thin air for the door to appear, but look how specific it has to be. I shoot the bubble right where the door is. Nothing happens. I gotta shoot just one space above it. As long as the bubble goes where the door is, why does it matter? But even then, the door's locked, so you gotta find the key. Even if you know where the key is, making it appear is another story. I know it's there, why doesn't it show itself? If I wander away and goof around a little more, I'll come back and there it is. 
I still don't understand how to make the key appear. Then where's the door lead? Right back out the same door I came in. Well, if the whole objective of that room is just finding your way back out, why couldn't the exit just be where I started to save all the trouble? Everything is a dead end. How did they design a game where all you have are two doors that lead to rooms that lead back to the same doors? It's a maze that has no end. So that's when you need the power. Nintendo power! This is the classified information section. Usually this is all about cheats. Golgo 13, Stage Select, Spy Hunter, Start with All Weapons, Wizards and Warriors, Bypass the Wizard, Mario 2, Shortcuts to Birdo, Mylon Secret Castle, Getting Started. Every time you start the game, the music lasts for 30 seconds, then stops. But why? They didn't know how to program it to loop? That really helped. All the weapons have the same range. They just fly about 10 miles away. There's no straight attack. How about give me a crossbow or something? No, you know what you're using? You know what this weapon is? It's a textbook. Another item you can get is an audio cassette. I love how the knight casually says, Bill asked me to give you this audio cassette, as if the knight would have any idea what that is. What does it do? It plays music and makes everybody dance. It's real helpful, especially since you don't even need a cassette player. Just throw the cassette on the ground. Hey, want to listen to some tunes? The bait can be any random object. There's four of them hidden on each stage. One of them will make Rembrandt appear in one of the random houses. How do you find this bait? You want to know? Guess what? By jumping into things! This game treats you like an idiot. I'm gonna get the power. Nintendo power. Wasn't there. I'm losing my faith in the NES library. Was there any quality control here? You know, that, that um, seal quality? Did that mean anything? Did anyone look at these games before they dumped them in the back of every KB's and Toys R Us? How many of these games are worthless? All the LJN ones, I can tell you that. LJN!